Hi, this is Rodney Fitzpatrick, here to introduce the Viper Mark II wire rope lubricator. The lubricator kit comes complete in a heavy duty carry case, um, the Viper collar, Mark II collar, a high flow, high volume grease pump. One of the key features of the Viper is the polyurethane seals, the special seal design, and the final accessories, the ratchet straps to hold the collar in place, the D shackles, the clear lubricant hose, and the pump handle. Everything you need from go to woe to lubricate your wire ropes. Now that we've identified the major components, it's time to assemble the high flow drum pump onto your lubricant container. Push the follower plate down onto the top of the lubricant until you remove all of the air from above the grease. Once the follower plate is in position inside the pail, it's time to put the drum cover on the top of the pail. Once it's in place, lightly tighten the thumb screws around the edges. Now that the drum cover is in place, we insert the high volume, high pressure Viper pump through the follower plate until it comes to rest at the base of the lubricant pail. Now the pump's in place, we grab the handle, undo the screws and affix it to the drum pump step. Remove the dust covers from the hose quick connect coupling and the female quick connect fittings. Connect the female quick connect onto the male and it's ready to go. Put the hose in place so that we can take it to the job. With the pump all assembled now, I'd like to just mention the different components. We've got the air regulator here, we've got an on-off air control valve, and we've got the grease control valve. This is the main heart of the system that controls the grease flow to your lubricator. Now you're going to have your own site-specific air fitting, which goes right in here in the regulator. Now that's all ready to go, we'll move on to assembling the Viper collar. The Viper Mark II collar comes with these convenient carry handles. It's also 32% lighter than the previous unit. Now we've got to assemble the actual scraper plates on each end. This one's already pre-assembled on these ends, but I'll show you how to put the scraper plates onto this one. The scraper plates are fixed to the end of the unit, a couple of Allen screws and the supplied Allen key. Now the scraper plates are in place, it's time to fit the seals. Undo the toggles on the collar and open up the collar. Each of the seals are interchangeable so you can put them on either side facing in either direction. Press them into place firmly. And the collar's ready to go. So now we'll just nip up the toggles and then we'll fit a couple of D shackles to allow us to fit up the shoulder strap so we can carry it to the job site. Fit the D shackle to the collar. These D shackles are used not only for the carry strap but also to secure the collar in place whilst we're doing the actual lubrication. Normally you'd fit the final hoses while you're out at the job site. However, just to demonstrate how to do it, I'm gonna do it for you right now. We've got the clear lubricant hose. This goes onto the bushing here. Next thing we need to do is connect the high pressure grease hose. Quick connect female coupling to quick connect male coupling. So this is the Viper Mark II effectively set up how it would be at your site. We've got the grease pump feeding high pressure grease into the Viper collar, wire rope going through being lubricated, excess lubricant coming out the excess grease hose. Now let's go and see the Viper in action.